Anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. And we can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Tyler, you coming? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. You think they'll mind if I take one? These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure?
Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No, she dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Their procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You want to grab a bite first? It's on me. 
Don't want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Please! Mom, no! Mom, please! No, don't do it! That's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. 